Hey everybody, welcome to Prana Custom Guitars. Thanks for tuning in if you've been here before. Tonight I just wanted to do an update on the Royal Lac product. If you've seen a few of our recent videos, we've, uh, we've shown me doing some dyeing and staining and grain filling, uh, mostly experimental to see how it was gonna come up in the, in the booth and how it was gonna be for Eli to spray and how the Royal Lac was gonna react. So we've sprayed a few guitars. We have enough finish on the, on the one, definitely. I might have to do a few drop fills on the other, but I wanted to show you how that guy's, how it looks straight out of the gun. We're giving it its three weeks to cure so we can level in wet sand and get ready for the buffing loop. So recently I went to go purchase some more lovely Royal Lac and Seal Lac product from LMI, Luthiers Mercantile. Uh, I buy fret wire and all kinds of stuff from those guys. Love, love that place. They were out of stock. So that's, that's just happening all over the place. It's hard to get anything right now. Everything, everything shipping and, and supply chains are disrupted all over the world. So that's supposed to be in in two weeks. I had emailed VJ, the owner of Royal Lac, and we had a few other questions to ask him about the product. And we come to find out, A, we wanted to know if there was any isocyanates in it. You know, that's, that's the real dangerous, super poisonous stuff that's in the automotive, you know, uh, polyurethanes and, and, and 2K polyesters, polyurethanes, all the automotive stuff has tons of that isocyanates in it, which makes it <laughs> cure really fast and really hard which is a really a great thing to have, but it's super poisonous and super bad for the environment. Some of the things we love about this product is it's a natural product. It's made from shellac. The solvent is alcohol and uh, it has no isocyanates in it, we come to find out. So that's really great. And also it's gonna be in, he said in about two weeks back in the LMI and we can start buying it. And it's, it's good news. It means people are using it and I'm excited to see. I wanna see some posts out there with some people with Royal Lac and uh, what they're doing with it. We've been doing bursts you know we're tinting it we're thinning it we've had it's really hard to mess up honestly um i know this i don't spray eli is is the guy who sprays i'm the prep guy and he does not use an hvlp gun i know that's very common with with guys who spray guitar finishes all kinds of guitar finishes his his kind of theory is uh that it leaves a lumpier finish it, it uses less product um he'd rather spray a little bit more product and, and have surfaces that that are, are on the guitars that I'm gonna show you in a second here. Uh, some of the other concerns I had is it's shellac and I hadn't done a blue color yet. So I had, I, what I have here is a, is a uh, kind of a turquoise aquamarine type guitar. That, that was the one spraying video. The very first time we had, we turned the booth on and sprayed. He was, Eli was spraying the seal lac. It's got six, six coats of Royal Lac on it now. It's been curing for about three weeks. Uh, one thing I could tell you too, it's laying on a towel right now. If you spray this product and you wait two weeks and you lay it on a towel that's firm, the terry cloth to the little, the little things are, are firm, and you leave it sit there for a week and lift it up, it'll make small marks. Don't be concerned. That buffs immediately right out. It, it, as soon as you put it on the wheel, it's gone. What we do is we hang them until we're ready to do all that. And after about five to six weeks, you can lay it on a towel and it won't do that. It, but that gives you time to do drop fills and do repairs and blend them in and not have any witness lines. So in, in a lot of ways, it reacts a lot like nitro. It's forgiving like nitro. You just, it, it does need a mechanical bond unless you're spraying. We spray three coats in a day because we don't spend more than six, seven hours in a day down here. So the, what I wanted to show you is just how this stuff looks right out of the gun. Rich came over, one of the recent guitars that we had sprayed, here it is. And I was concerned because this is shellac and I was thought I wouldn't get a nice, really nice blue, you know, I thought it would yellow it too much. Um, and uh, this is how it's come out. Now this is right out of the gun. We still got a level sand and uh, all of that. But Rich just thought it looked really great. He was really surprised. Now, I didn't do good enough grain fill. That's why that surface looks like that. That's my fault, not Royal Axe's fault. So that's how that looks. Uh, thought it came out really well. And you can see we're going to have minimal minimal sanding to do. It's not going to be It's not going to be that bad. Uh, it's, it's really a nice surf. Here's the uh, sort of the ocean aquamarine. Using a lot of teal and blue and black, did a grain enhancement. It, it's the same color on the maple as it is on the on the black limba. It just reacts different. So that that again is right out of the gun. That's just we're waiting for it to cure. And here's the neck to go with it. None of this stuff sanded. 
so we're just getting ready for it. But I just thought it came out. It's just stuff that, it just looks so nice, and uh, we love it. So that's an update on the Royal Ack. Um, we're going to get some more guitars in. We have one, another one that uh, Twin Dicks Guitars built, uh, our good friend the Rich, Rich Campbell. And it's all wood. It has a, uh, a beautiful, beautiful walnut top and a uh, mahogany back and I think a mahogany core and then another bookmatch walnut uh, top piece on the back as well. So we're going to be spraying that and want to see how the natural woods look. We've already sprayed uh, ebony and we sprayed ash and I haven't sprayed mahogany or walnuts one of those woods man it can look really bad or really good on a finish uh, you have it glued up and it looks fantastic it can take different things in different places and really get blotchy you know and almost have a lot of tannins in some areas so this is really where the rubber meets the road where I'm gonna have to really surface prep that really well so it's sealed so there's like a seal coat and then the, uh, the seal lac and the royal lac, and hopefully we get a nice even, even looking finish uh, with good adherence. So we'll have updates on that soon. Thank you for tuning in and hope you're having success with your finishing. And if you have anything to share about using royal lac, please do so below. Thanks for tuning in and keep making dust. See ya.